guys, and welcome to a brand new video. Now, I just got back from the store with the beautiful, luxurious truck. And this is totally my truck. Why you always lying? But for real, I did just get back from the store. And you guys will never believe what it is I just purchased for $30. Like, rest in peace. I already ran out of money for my last video. And I literally just spent $30 more. Dang it. Dang it. But for real, the thing that I just purchased from the store is in the back of this truck. And so introducing the yellow pole. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now these obviously are not just random yellow pools. And due to my super manly muscles and super pro epic building skills, I'm gonna build this thing for you guys so that you guys can see what it is. So I started getting the yellow pools out of the back of the truck. First I got the super heavy one. And then I went over and grabbed this one, yeeted it out of the back of the truck. Then grabbed these two little bars and yeeted them as well. Time to build a mystery item. And what I want you guys to do right now is go in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think this thing is before I actually build it. So I'm gonna give you guys like three seconds to go guess. Wow, that was a fast three seconds. So after my three second wait, I started taking the yellow poles all the way over here. And I was trying to figure out how it went together, but it was super complicated. I have absolutely no idea how to build this contraption, so this could take a while. Two thousand years later. It's been approximately 40 days, seven hours, and 32 seconds. And I finally got the masterpiece built. So here it is, the super epic thing I just purchased, the miniature field goal. Oh my God. So yes, guys, that is correct. I just purchased this thing right here. And this is like a football field goal, but only it's miniature. So why did I buy a field goal, you might be asking yourself? Well, I have absolutely no idea. But as you can see, this thing is super legitness. Legitness. Uh, guys, we're trying to film in this super loud cicada just started making a really loud noise. Listen. Our mission, if we choose to accept this and make this cicada to stop making a super loud noise. Let's go absolutely destroy this thing because it's ruining our video audio. So I walked over to the cicada. Take this. And absolutely annihilated it. Yes, mission accomplished. The cicada stopped making a super loud noise. Let's go. Okay, so now that the audio is all better, we need to figure out what to do with this ginormous field goal thing. Torg, I triple dog dare you to try and jump through it. Say what? Say what? Random stuff. You know, this thing's like super high and I can't jump with the crap. Oh, uh, but you know what? I will not give up because I am super manly and muscular. Random stuff wants me to jump over the field goal, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Here goes nothing. Oh, my fingers. <laughs> This should be super easy. <laughs> A few moments later. So I'm just gonna full send it. <laughs> oh. Guys, unfortunately, I think I just fractured three spleens and fractured 53 rib cages. I think I'm gonna have to go to the doctor and get checked out. All right, I'm extremely exhausted and like super injured now, guys. I'm gonna go to the hospital. I'll be back out here tomorrow. Peace out until then. He needs some milk. The next day. All right, guys, it is now the next day, and after 53 broken bones, it is now time to do our most dangerous stunt ever. So, shopping cart guy, bring me my toy. Oh, I got you, fam. I got you, fam. Wait a minute. That looked like the guy that stole my pogo stick in my last video. And it looks like he's literally living inside of my van. Interesting. Okay, but here's the item that he dropped off for us. And yes, this is the beautiful, luxurious monster truck RC truck that we got in our last video. Rest in peace, $500. Guys, please go smash the thumbs up button because I literally did spend $500 on this thing. But it is now time for the most dangerous stunt ever. We're going to be jumping the giant monster RC truck through the brand new field goal. So it's gonna be the giant RC truck versus the field goal and ginormous ram. Will the RC truck make the jump? I guess we are about to find out. Let's do it. Do it! Monster truck, are you ready? I'm ready! Here goes nothing, the moment we've all been waiting for. RC truck, please do not break. I have no more money to spend on you. Three, two, one! <laughs> 
I miss! RC Truck, are you okay? Looks pretty good to me. Let's go for round two. round two. So I said my prayers in hopes that I wouldn't crash at this time, and then I just full sent it. Oh, we did it! Let's go! Did you guys see that? We literally did a backflip as well! A few moments later. So now I'm gonna try to kick this football through the field goal, since that's what it was made for in the first place. I Goal! So I decided to grab the giant beach ball and kick it through the field goal as well. Oh! Oh! Guys, I think I just pulled a hamstring. What? I gotta go back to the hospital. I'll see you at today's main part of the video. Peace out until then. Two thousand years later. Yo, Toy Fam, what is up and welcome to today's main part of the video. Now guys, something really crazy is actually happening right now. This morning, I literally woke up, I jumped out of my bed, and then I came into the kitchen, grabbed me some breakfast, and then I was literally just looking out into our backyard whenever I saw this thing right here. <laughs> No, guys, this thing was not here yesterday whenever I went to bed. And it's like some sort of note or something. So I told random stuff to hurry up and go grab the camera to come out here so that we can see what this thing is. And so we're going to go ahead and read this thing to see what it says on it. It says, Tor, thanks to you, I finally have what I've been waiting to get for a long time. Say what? What does this mean? Like, who even left us this note? There's like no signature or anything on it anywhere. Wait, yo, guys, I think this is actually actually something on the back what is this there's literally a red dot right here and this is like a big picture or something but i can't tell what it is because it's so dark let me just observe this thing for a minute so i started observing the super mysterious map and it took me a minute but i finally figured out what it was wait a minute wait a look minute. this kind of looks like our pond right here like there's this ring right here and then i can see like a little picture of a tree and then i believe these are other trees right here so wait if i flip this around this way then this must be a map of our pond from like the sky because look this looks like our ginormous tree right there and then there's a couple trees down here as well which must be these two right over here and then this must be like that white car or something <laughs> But look, there's also this red dot right here. And this red dot is like in front of this big tree right here, which is that one right over there beside the boat. So guys, we need to go over there to where this red dot is at because apparently... This is like some sort of map or something, and it looks like whoever left us this note wants us to go here. So guys, what we're gonna do right now is follow this map thingamajig and go to this red dot to see if there is anything there. So come on, let's go. Wait, guys, I almost forgot to put on my running goggles. These things right here, they keep my eyelids super safe and protected. They even make me have five more horsepower what? whenever I wear them. So let me just put these bad boys on real quick. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, for real, let's go! Oh my goodness! Did I mention it's like super early in the morning? It's literally like 9 a.m. I'm super exhausted and have like zero energy. But guys, I cannot give up. I must continue heading over to this red dot. So again, the red dot is right here. And the white car is literally just right over here. Which means that this red dot is to our left. So let's head over here to see what it is. Come on. So I started following the map all the way over to the red dot. So according to this map right here, if there is something out here, then it should be like right here. And the red dot is literally like where the boat is at. And so whoever lets us this note, do they just want us to get on the boat or something for some reason? I have absolutely Yo, no idea. Look, what? there's literally something right there by the boat. Holy crap. Guys, random stuff is right. Look. It looks like there's another piece of paper there or something. And that must literally be where this red dot is leading to. We need to go over there to see what it is. Come yeah. on. Yo, guys, this is literally another note or something. And this must be what that other note was leading us to. Let's see what it says on it. I have the Krabby Patty secret formula. Thanks to you. Now I will rule the world. No way. According to this note, somebody literally got the Krabby Patty secret formula. And there's like only one person that really wants to get the Krabby Patty secret formula in SpongeBob. And that is literally plinked in like this person up on the screen right here. As you guys know, no, he really wants to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula so that he can sell it at the chum bucket. And he's saying that thanks to me, he now has it. Because if you guys do not remember, in this video right here up on the screen, I literally captured the Krusty Krab in real life. And like whenever I captured the Krusty Krab, it was literally just like right up here. 
Oh my god! That slow play dude's right there! We gotta get him! No! I can't see anything! It's too cloudy! Come on, where's he at? No! We gotta keep searching for him! So I continued searching around for Plankton in hopes that he did not get away for good. But unfortunately, I was unable to find him anywhere. He was literally just right here! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Plankton literally just got away! Uh, and according to that note, he literally has a Krabby Patty secret formula! Guys, go in the comment section down below right now and let me know how you guys think we can actually stop Plankton. Because he literally stole the Krabby Patty secret formula from Mr. Krabs. And so we need to hurry up and stop him before he like uses it or something. Guys, we are gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video though because he obviously got away for good. Like he's literally just not here anymore. So if you guys have like any trap ideas or anything, then again, let me know in the comment section down below on any ideas you guys have that we can like use to capture him. But guys, I'm gonna hurry up and go inside and edit this video and upload it so that you guys can see it and give us your opinion on what do you think it is that we should do next. So uh, yeah, I guess we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with TORG, AKA that one random ginger. Peace out. Man, I also haven't taken a shower yet today because I literally just woke up. So I'm gonna go take a bath out in the pond. Time to take a clean, warm bath. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna enjoy my bath now. Goodbye.